Hi, my name is David Emerson. I'm a long-term myeloma survivor, myeloma cancer coach, and director of People Beating Cancer. Uh, today's vlog blog post is uh, from a question from a caregiver. My interpretation is that this is a daughter of a 74-year-old myeloma patient. And her question is, uh, A, difficult to, to read, difficult to talk about, difficult to answer. But it's important, in my opinion, for everyone watching this, all myeloma patients and caregivers, to understand what she is asking about. Let me read her question. My dad is 74 years old, is at a very tough point in his multiple myeloma cancer journey. He has done multiple rounds of chemotherapy. Doctors are recommending daratumumab, also called Darzelex, for his last treatment option. I don't like the side effects I'm seeing on, on the one uh, label that I read. He's already really fatigued, and they, I'm assuming she's talking about her oncologists, feel it will target the myeloma cells. To answer the question, what do the title of the post, what do myeloma patients die from? The five most common causes of death are myelosuppression, that's when your um, either white blood cells, red blood cells, or platelets um, either are killed off or are low, the levels are low, we need those to live. And for, for, for the record, infection or pneumonia <clears throat> can occur when, <clears throat> when our immune function isn't, isn't working properly. Uh, two, renal insufficiency. Both myeloma and certain therapies um, can hurt kidney renal function, can damage your kidneys. If it's serious enough, your kidneys can shut down. That's bad. People can die from that. Bone disease, as we all know, multiple myeloma, as well as therapies can harm bone damage, excuse me, can harm our bone strength. Heart failure, many, many drugs are cytotoxic, can cause heart damage. And finally, blood clots. Myeloma causes, and, and um, chemotherapy as well, can cause um, hyperviscosity, which is a fancy term for it thickens our blood and causes blood clots. All to say, <clears throat> the um, myeloma patient that has been undergoing chemo, perhaps he or she is older, perhaps um, they're experiencing their f fatigue and all these other side effects of therapies, as well as the myeloma itself is harming us. The challenge is, and this question goes to it, what do we do? The myeloma is there, we're battling myeloma, Plus, we're battling our health. We're trying to keep healthy. We're trying to stay healthy, fatigue. She talks about chronic diarrhea. There are a lot of things that can weaken this 74-year-old patient. It's not easy. It's a challenge. In general, I fear, I worry that oncology has a tendency to overtreat. I understand that. I get that. Oncologists, especially myeloma specialists, want to treat and, and hammer myeloma. I get that. All I'm saying is there should be a balance between symptoms and side effects. The damage caused by one's myeloma versus the damage caused by one's therapies designed to fight our myeloma. It's not easy. If you have any questions, comments, if this question is something you've wondered about, uh, you're a caregiver or you're a myeloma patient and you're experiencing symptoms and side effects, send me a question, send me a comment, I'll reply. Perhaps I can suggest some non-toxic therapies that will help. Perhaps I can suggest some toxic therapies that will help. All to say, let me know. In the meantime, thank you for your time. 
and be well.